Skapers, 9HP here, and welcome to my invention guide for skillers. Invention is an elite skill and thus requires level 80 in divination, crafting, and smithing. Elite skills also require more XP to level to 99 than normal skills, but less for 120. As you probably know, non-elite skills require 13 mil XP for 99 and 104 mil XP for level 120. As where elite skills, they require 36 mil XP for 99 and 80 mil XP for level 120 invention. Invention is a costly skill. The skiller methods are much less costly, yet much slower EXP. If you have hundreds of mils to invest and are looking to level your invention really fast, um, I would recommend that you look into another guide for making the best gizmos, as this method is extremely costly, but much much quicker exp i waited to do this guide after the dwarf and goblin tech trees were made but they do not do anything really for skillers at least not at this point in time please keep in mind these methods are my personal recommendations as a level 3 skiller not necessarily the best as the prices are constantly changing on each item's supply and demand and stuff like that nonetheless this guide should help you to at least understand the fundamentals of the skill just like my skiller slayer guide i will post the table of contents before the guide begins along within the description below Lastly, feel free to pause on each slide at the start of each clip for some extra helpful bonus features like EXP per hour and other information that was not mentioned in the commentary. For levels 4 through 22 invention, you're going to want to make divine charges. Divine charges can be made from 20 simple parts and your choice of energy from the divination skill. If we click here and go over the divine charge, you will see this chart which will show you that the higher tiers cost less than obviously the lower tiers to make a divine charge. So for the incandescent, it would uh, cost me 225 energies, as where the brilliant would be 450. So if you examine over them, you can see their price differences, as with the higher tier, 278 GP each, and the Brilliant for 113 GP. It just really allows you to match it up to your budget and find what's best for you. As for the simple parts, you're going to want to go with Maple Logs. The reason you want to use Maple Logs is they're cheap, only about 25 GP each, and you're going to get the parts often. It's about a 50-50 chance with Junk. You get the simple part, and you do not want to spend money on anything in the common section. When you click here for common materials, you don't want to spend money on those. But when you start getting the uncommon materials, that's when you want to focus on different tiers of armor and such, as it's actually going to affect the outcome a lot more. Mithril, Admin, U, Magic, etc. Now the Divine Charges themselves will take you a little bit to get to level 22, but it's worth noting that you can make some pretty decent money off it, sell for 82k each in the GE, or you can keep them for what they're actually used for. All items in Invention require that you have energy to level them up, and leveling them up to level 10 is what you need to disassemble them for the main EXP and in Invention. So if you go into your backpack here, Click on this and go to the invention tab and go to your charger pack, it will show you how much you have. I have 13,641 at the moment. If I used one of these divine charges, that would go up 3,000 to 16,641 instead. Once this hits zero, my items will not level anymore, so it is important that you at least have them for when that time comes. It's worth noting, however, that you will not need them as much as a combat account, as armor and weapons cost a lot more of the charges than items like the Fishing Rod Automatic and the Augmented Dragon Hatchet, which are the primary things that skillers will use. For levels 22 through 120 invention, skillers have two basic methods that they can choose from. The cheaper method being the Fishing Rod Automatic, giving fishing XP, and the more expensive method being the Augmented Dragon Hatchet, giving woodcutting XP. We're going to go over Fishing Rod Automatics first, so if you click on the workbench here, click on the Fishing Rod Automatic and scroll, you will see the materials needed. The basic Fishing Rod will suffice for Fishing Rod for flexible parts. You're going to want to use short bows, and the reason you want to use short bows over long bows is because short bows are the only ones that will give you the dexterous components, which you will need later. Next is base parts. They are common materials, so just like the maple logs with the divine charges, you're going to want something cheap. I personally find iron daggers to be the best, as they are really cheap and they will get the job done in terms of getting you those base parts. As mentioned above, dexterous components are from short bows. It's worth noting that there's a 10% difference between the different tiers. So for 
from you short bows, the jump chance is 51%, and then I will get a 10% bonus at 41% from the magic short bows, as you can see. So just based off your personal budget, you can find out what one is more beneficial for you. Lastly is the swift components. Swift components, I prefer to use mithril claws. Also, if you have extra money though, go, go for offhand variants because they are cheaper, as you can see, about half a K versus mithril claws, which are around 2,000 each. Um, as they will not sell instantly, if you leave them in there long enough, they do buy and it is worth it. Also, just like the use in Magic, 10% difference. So it's really just a matter of your personal budget and what works best for you. Lastly, we will take this rod and put all the parts together to make the fishing rod automatic itself. As you can see, there's check marks next to all the required materials. So that means you have all the requirements to manufacture. Bam. Okay, so now that we've gone over how to get your fishing rod automatic made, you're going to need to know how to level it up to level 10. For skillers, the most efficient method I find is trout and salmon at either the Barbarian or Gnome Village. Talking to clanmates, we realized it takes about four and a half hours, give or take, to reach level 10. But at tier 10, you will gain 459k XP from the rod. Um, as you can see, this rod has gizmos in it, which I will go over at the end of this video. But those can give really nice benefits, as you can see. And when you disassemble them at level 10, you will get these back. So each one has awesome little perks that they will add to your fishing. Now that we've gone over that, all there's left to do is disassemble them. So we'll start with this one. Do not go past level 10 as it will not give you any extra XP. As you can see, I'll gain 459,000 invention XP, along with other bonuses from reaching higher levels. Each level, you'll unlock more of these. We'll do this rod as well, just so we can get those gizmos back. As you see, I got both my gizmos to be used again on the next rod that I create. And that is all for Fishing rod Automatics. So for levels 22 through 120 Invention, the expensive method, you're going to want to do Augmented Dragon Hatchets. And the reason they are so expensive is because the Dragon Hatchet itself will have to be disassembled, and as you can see, cost 1.3 mil so they're kind of pricey but I found it was well worth it to get 99 wood cutting personally if you can afford it as it gives a really good chunk of invention XP as well but obviously fishing is the route to go if you're trying to save money if you are however using the augmented dragon hatchet to get 99 wood cutting then for a skiller it is best to do ivy and then crystal trees and if you enter the FC called tree hunt they will tell you the world and locations as they spawn for the crystal trees and so that's a really good way to get your augmented dragon hatchet to level 10. Off of crystal trees we average it out with my clan that takes about three hours to reach tier 10 give or take a little bit but after you reach level 10 you can disassemble the hatchet to give you 378k invention xp so it's pretty good. As for creating the hatchet you want to make an augmenter. As you can see it takes the divine energy from divination and you can use the energy best suited to your budget. As for base parts they are as you can see common material as I said before you do not want to waste any money on them those so I use iron daggers for those as well for tinsel parts and flexible parts you're gonna want to use you short bows but flexible parts can also be used by using the Barker Toad Patches, which Barker Toad Patches are what you're going to need that I find to be of best use for the price for powerful components. As you can see here, they give you your flexible parts often, powerful components rarely, but the junk chance is really low on them for the price. So definitely one of the better methods, I think, at the moment. As for enhanced components, you're going to want to use unpowered orbs. I found they are definitely the best out of anything, especially for the price. So with all those together, that is how you make the augmenter. So we will go ahead and do that. Bam. You have your augmenter. And then from here, you use it on your dragon hatchet. Then I'll be able to get it back after doing so. And it's worth noting that you will not need the 60 attack required to wield it. As a skiller, all you have to do is change the type. And it will ask you if you want to. Press OK. And now, as a skiller, I can wield it. So my augmented dragon hatchet now acts as a bow, which can be pretty useful. So now you have the augmented dragon hatchet. You can use the tool gizmos on them or also on the fishing automatics, whichever one you're raising at the time. I will go over 
how to get the best chance and the best tier for each after this in the gizmo guide. And when you disassemble a level 10 hatchet, you will gain 378k as you can see. And by leveling it to 10, you unlock each of these as you do so. So when you disassemble, you also get those benefits. Same as I showed with the fishing rod automatic. And that is all for the augmented dragon hatchet. Alright, so lastly we're going to go over the gizmos that Skillers can use. There are two of them. First is the Honored 4, and it has a 2% rank higher chance of successful gathering items. And the second one being the Furnace Perk, I only have tier 2 for this one. And it has a 5% chance per rank of consuming a gathered resource for an extra 100% XP. So yeah, they can go up to a maximum of 4 I believe, and rank as you can see along the side of each it shows. This one rank 2, and this one rank 4. And so next we'll go into how to create them. You're going to click on your workbench, and you're going to click here on the tool gizmo shell. Now all these items are gathered the same methods it took to make either your fishing rod automatic or your augmented dragon hatchet make it. So the head parts you're going to get from all of the iron daggers that you did. The crafted parts you're going to get from all of the summoning code pouches. And the precise components you're going to get from all the bows that you did. So once you have all of them it will show along the side that you do with the check marks. So you manufacture and we're just going to do one for now. And now from this point, you're going to add materials to the tool gizmo shell. And you'll see here, there's a spot for five different materials. Now my preferred method for getting the honor or the furnace perk is the exact same materials, thankfully. So you take the sharp components and you add them to all five slots. And as you can see, as you add more, the chances of you getting a higher tier, which as you can see, this is the thing alongside there on the right, four and two, it raises the chances of those being higher, which greatly helps you more when you're skilling with those augmented items. So as you can see, the Ana goes one through five, so it is possible to get to five, not just four, and the furnace is one through two at the moment. However, if you do have enough money to disassemble Dragon Fire Shield, you have a chance of these rare components, and when you use just one of these, as you can see, it'll change out the success chances, so the furnace is now one through three, and on it is one through four. But for this guide, we're just gonna show you with the sharp components. So we're gonna go ahead and create and hope for the best. Ooh, this one was actually pretty good. As you can see, it's the same as this with, in terms of rank 4, but it has the bonus perk of this one with it, so it's all in one. So you can add two gizmos per item, so fishing rod automatic and the augmented dragon hatchets can each fit two gizmos. And so we'll put this one inside the augmented dragon hatchet. And as you can see, has this one added to it, so as I level up higher, I'll get more bonuses. And then we'll go ahead and use this one on the Fishing Rod Automatic. So as you can see, both other gizmos. And this one, while well, it has the two perks, I still have room to add another gizmo here. And that is all for my skiller guide on Invention. This is 9HP, thank you guys for watching.